Welcome to Pantec e-learning. Today we are going to see the project K-Type 13 level inverter by using reduced number of switches. Here we are using the PIC microcontroller. This is the block diagram for K-Type 13 level inverter. According to this block diagram, the hardware should be connected. This is the image for PIC microcontroller board. Now we can see about TLP250 driver unit. This driver unit is used to amplify and isolate the pulse generated by the controller. From the controller, the driver pulse is given from MOSFET or IGBT, anything. From pulse generator, the pulse will be generated up to 5V, 3.3V to 5V. By using TLP250 driver board, we can amplify it up to 12 to 15 volt by the same frequency and duty ratio. And the TLP250 driver board has a gate protection also. This is the circuit diagram for TLP250 driver board. This is the image for TLP250 driver board. This is the image for TLP250 driver board. Here we can able to see the white color IC that is TLP250 IC. And here we are using transistors, this is the TLP250 IC and some resistors, zener diode, capacitor, LED. Here we can see the comparison of pulses. The yellow color waveform is the pulse generated by the controller, PIC controller and it isolated and given to the main board as 12 to 15 volt. We can say, we can able to see the variation. PIC microcontroller will give the voltage or pulse around 3.3 to 5 volt. We can amplify or isolate the pulse by using this TLP250 driver board. After amplified, the voltage will increase up to 15 volt, 12 to 15 volt. We can able to see the waveform as green color. This is the circuit diagram for K-type 13 level inverter. Here we are using 11 number of switches, switches means MOSFET. The MOSFET used here is IRF840. Here we can see the 11 MOSFETs. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. The MOSFETs are mentioned here as Q1, Q2, Q3 like that. We can measure the output voltage across this R load by using CRO or DSO. This is the hardware image for the K-Type 13 level inverter. We can able to see the 11 switches we are using. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And here we are using the bridge rectifier, capacitor and diodes. We can measure the output voltage across this load resistor. Now we can see the working principle of the hardware. This is the switching pattern used in one cycle. Here they have mentioned S1, S2, S3, S4. In the circuit diagram we have mentioned it as Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4 like that. This is the switching pulse for one complete cycle. We can measure the 13 level here. One, two. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. This is the complete cycle. This is one complete cycle. This is the total hardware image which is connected. Now we can see the working video. Yeah. This is K-Type 13 level inverter. Today we are going to see how the it works. This is the main circuit. Here we are using 11 MOSFETs for this. K-Type 13 level inverter using 11 switches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 MOSFETs we are using in this circuit. These are the two transformers which is used to give input supply to the main circuit. This is also 12 volt transformer which is used to give 
power supply to DLP to the driver board and this pick controller here here we are using 11 switches that's what we are using here 11 legs 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 ok these are the pulses taken from this pick IC pick controller from here these pulses are taken and then these are the pulses taken from this MOSFETs from the gate pin and source okay. these are the capacitors these are the diodes this is 5 ohms bridge rectifier and this is capacitor this is used to rectify AC voltage into DC voltage okay. here we need double range of output that's what we are using the first input as 6 volt and next input as 12 volt okay. now I am going to turn on the DLP driver board for this transformer and this controller this is the TLP 250 IC which is used to isolate and amplify this is the PIC IC this is the crystal disk capacitor micro switch voltage regulator 7805 these are the capacitors and this, this is one of the rectifier which is used to amplification and isolation and these are the transistors now we are going to turn on these two transformer Yeah. Now we have given all the power supplies to the kit. Uh, input terminal 1 and input terminal 2. Here we are going to take the output. Now we can see the output through DSO or CR. Here we are going to see the output on this terminal. Uh, we can see across this load resistor or this connector. This is the DSO pin. We are going to take the output through this pin. We can check the output voltage across this or this, any two, any one. Here we can see the output by using this probes connected in DSO or CRO. We can check the output across this resistor or this connector. We can check by using these two. Now I am going to connect the DSO probe on the output terminal. Now we can see the output waveform, the 13 level inverter waveform. Yeah, yeah. Now we can see the output waveform, the 13 level. This is the image that captured by DSO. We can see the 13 level clearly here. This is the output waveform for K-type 13 level multi-level inverter. This is the output waveform which is captured by DSO. Here we can able to see the 13 levels. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. These are the things we are using here. Pick microcontroller, TLP250 driver board, 12 volt step down transformer for driver board, 6 volt and 12 volt transformer for the main power circuit and 5 watt load resistor and 5 watt load resistor. This project can be do it, done by do it yourself. For manually doing our project, we need these components. One pick microcontroller IC and board and code for that and TLP250 driver board according to our need. If we are using 11 switches, we need 11 legs and 12 volt step down transformer record numbers. And for input, we need two transformers, one is 6 volt and one is 12 volt and 2 pin power card and RMC connectors. RMC connectors are connected across gate and source pin of the MOSFET GB board and we are using the MOSFET here IRF840 and bridge rectifier and capacitor and finally we will use the load resistor and we can provide the guidance up to 2 hours. For testing yourself, for testing this project by yourself we need multimeter DSO or CRO and solving it. For buying this project, you can contact us 
through for purchasing this project you can contact us through this phone number or mail id or website thank you thank you for watching this video